ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of From the Depths. It is great to have you all here today. So, before we kick off the episode, let's talk about something really quick here. There have been some rather big changes that have come down the pipeline here for the game. And one of those changes is localized resources. I don't know if you've heard about these yet, but they really change how resources and all of that jazz works in the game. Right now, it's, it's sort of like a central resource system, or, you know, what we've known previously. And how that works is, you know, we capture resource zones, we put a resource ship on there, you know, something like the Sea Skip and Suckler. And now all of our fleets across the map have access to these resources. Uh, that's, it's still a system that we can use, however, there's another newer system that adds a whole new just strategic layer to the game, and that is localized resources. And how that works is, you know, now whenever you capture a resource zone, you not, not only need to be able to grab those resources or gain those resources but ferry them around the map and get them to your fleets wherever they may be and that also means all of your ships will now need to support these localized resources that means they will need to have uh, resource storage on their ship raw resources let me show you in the build menu really quick here um, here we are yes raw resources so ships will need to have all of these containers on there for in order to support this new system so obviously that is something that we just don't have going on right now and that would be a huge huge change for us uh, without a doubt so here's the question I want to pose to you all do we want to keep playing this campaign with the centralized resource system essentially what we've been playing with up until this point or should we do a new campaign with the localized resource system uh, the reason I'm asking is, if, if we want to do this with our current campaign, we will need to essentially wipe out all of our ships. There's no way I'm going to go and retrofit every ship with resource containers, and, and, you know, a lot of ship builds won't even support them. You know, their block count and build is such that there's just no space to put resource containers on these things. So, uh, yeah, that, that's the question. What do we want to do? We can keep going with Terrace here and try to finish this guy up and then start a new campaign with the new systems, or... Do we want to just scrap this now? Do we want to start a new campaign on Terrace, a new campaign on the main uh, built-in campaign of the game, and run with localized resources? Just let me know what you guys think, what you'd like to see. Regardless, at some point here on the channel, we will be taking a look at localized resources. And I will say, for sure, uh, if, if we start a new campaign, I will wipe out the ship queues 100%. We probably won't keep any of the ships in there, uh, with the exception of two or three that already have some of the localized resource systems built in. So, you know, that'll also clear the queues out. We'll get a lot of the old ships out of there. Uh, yeah, just let me know what you think. I just wanted to pose that question and get that out there. So, uh, secondly, obviously there's been a gap in episodes on the channel. This is just a really busy month for me. December is always busy. Um, you know, things get really hectic at work up until everybody takes off for vacation and then work is dead, you know, for the last couple weeks and... and uh, and then we kick it back up again in January. So, yeah, I've been really busy with that. And uh, I will be out for a week and a half here in uh, two or three days. So I'm going to try to get a backlog of episodes made. And that will definitely be possible if we stick to the centralized resource system and uh, keep going with the campaign in, in its you know current status as it is now. So just throwing all that out there. Thank you for being so patient with me. This is, you know, I was sick this month. It all just coalesced into one crazy month, unfortunately. Uh, I've never had such a large gap of episodes on my channel in the one year that it has been around. Which is nuts, by the way. We had our one year anniversary just a few days ago. Woohoo! Can't believe it. You know what's weird? We, we went one year exactly on the anniversary of my channel. My one year anniversary. Uh, we hit 1 million and 30 views. I was super ecstatic about that. So, thank you everybody. You're all just absolutely amazing. Love you all. It's great having you here. So we're going to keep going. We're going to keep uh, kicking it up here on the channel. See see where we can take things, you know? Anyways, let's talk about today's community ship. It is a beauty. I love it. I can't wait to show you guys. It is the BCS Soul. And this was submitted, I want to say, in Season 3. And we're finally getting a chance to see it. It's a 16,000 block ship. Take a look at this baby. Let's zoom out a little bit here. Take a look at this. Fully rocking with the custom cannon systems here, the advanced custom cannons. This is a huge ship. I love the way this looks. I love that you can you can walk around. Here we are up on the, the upper command deck. We can just hop on down here. Huh? Come on. Come on, old Grundy. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're, we're running in a kind of slowed down time right now. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that says. I think 
I actually don't know. It's prob probably says lunch or the Twinkie room or some something like that. This is what's going on in here. Uh, anyways, yeah, I love ships like this. A lot of room to walk around. We got doors. We are stuck on the ceiling. Let me speed up time so we can fall off. Here we go. Yeah, we can hop out the back here. Let's take a look. Open these doors. See what's going on. Oh, this beautiful ship. Look at all this walking room. And I love whenever you get out and walk on a ship because, you know, it really just puts the size in perspective. Really lets you know what sort of a monster these things are. So, yeah, let's talk about the weapon systems on the BCS Soul here. Uh, let me get my character. There we go. So, here's what this thing features. Three 340mm triple barrel main cannons that also feature HE. Three 200mm double barrel flak cannons. A 70mm CIWS anti-air gun. 30 short range EMP missiles and 27 medium range missiles with rams and smoke. I love smoke. You always gotta have smoke. You never know who's gonna have lasers. And here it is. This is what we are gonna be going with. Let's see if we, we bring something in really quick. Like the fervor. There he is, way over there. Let's get everything sped up here. Back to normal time. Yeah, look at this. Once these cannons get blazing, it is beautiful. Here we go. Spinning, focusing. Can't really see the shells. I don't think there's any tracers being deployed on this stuff. Let's go take a take a look at the fervor here. You can see the shells hitting. You just can't really see the shells because they, they travel so fast. Look at that, already dead. I mean, granted, not a very fair battle. Little tiny fervor with uh, 400, uh, 1,000 blocks, sorry. Versus the PCS soul. Look at that. It's, it's our first super legit battleship we are bringing into the game. So with that being said, ladies and gents, let's hop over into our campaign. And let's see how we fare with the BCS Soul and a couple other ships that we're going to be fleeting up with it to give it some support. Here is the fleet we have going on here, Soul's Memorial. As you can see here, I've already moved it over to an enemy square, so we can go ahead and just kick that up. So what I've done, the, the BCS Soul spawns in with a couple of repair bots, and also I brought in the Gut Storms. I feel like these are really good support craft. They have really good lambs, and you know, they're, they're pretty fast flyers, so I think this would be a good pair up with the BCS Soul. So let's see who we're going up against here really quick. As soon as the battle kicks up, there we go. We are going to be dealing with a Harrier, a Judicator, a Light Spear, and a Light Spear. Two Light Spears. All right. Now we've seen the Judicator. It's like that that horizontal Oscar Mayer Wiener thing going on. And uh, the Harrier's just tried and true classic. So yeah, let's get the battle set up here. What I'd like to do is get the BCS Soul rather far back and broadsiding. You know, we definitely want a good broadside going on there. I'd like to get his little repair bots and put them right over next to it because what's going to happen when the BCS Soul spawns in, these repair bots are attached to tractor beams on the Soul, so they're going to uh, just sort of be moving around on it there. And where where are our gut storms? Hang on. Oh, here they are. Way over here. So we're going to put these... I'm going to start these on the outskirts, I think. Really far on the outskirts. Yeah, gut storm, gut storm, and then... The soul right down in the middle. Let's see what we're going to be getting in. I want to make sure we get the soul, the BCS, and its two repair bots first. Yeah, we definitely want the repair bots with it. Okay, let's see what we're going to get. I think this will be a good start. We'll keep it at 29.8 thousand blocks. We'll get everybody but one gut storm. So let's do this. Let's see how we fare. I think we're going to sit in the BCS soul. I think that's what we're going to do. It's going to be a little laggy, I imagine. Hang on, let's get down there. Hurry. Let's make sure we're not on the weapons. Interface on. There we go. We were on the weapons. And here we go. The battle is underway. BCS Soul already firing those medium and long range or short range missiles. There you can see the gut storm flying over there. And here comes the enemy. Oh, he's going to rue the day. Whatever this is. Probably a light spear. It looks like a light spear, doesn't it? Oh, <laughs> gone. Gone. Are you okay, light spear? I think he's gone. There we got the gut storm doing his thing. Little strafing run there. I love it. Just love the way that looks. Here's the other light storm. Trying to make some progress here. Oh, what's this? What are these glowy red parts? Oh, those are those the new engine part? I can't tell what's going on there. There are a lot of engine changes as well. The engines as we know them are essentially being replaced with a new engine system that has a much more logical linear scale to engine output. Uh, fuel efficiency, I believe, will not be as good either. Uh, that's something we're just going to have to take a look at. Alright, so let's take a look at the BCS Soul here. We are taking a little bit of damage. We're down to 100%. 
If you're gonna be down on, on damage, you know, that's, I mean, uh, that's, it's a good way to go. You know, be down to 100%, which is like, uh, 5 out of 7. It's, you're pretty much solid. Okay, so here's the Judicator, already dead. Look how fast that was. Let's get the interface on and see, yeah, we're gonna have the Harrier left. Those cannons on the BCS Soul, when those advanced cannons focus in on a target, you really can't see the shells, but, you know, targets that have weak holes, oh, they just... It just eats through them. It's incredible. All right, so here comes the Harrier. We're going to see how this baby fares. Looks like we got both of our gut storms in now. We are really packing some serious punch right now. So normally these Harriers give us a little bit of a problem, especially on our larger ships. We're going to see how the, the soul does on this. As you remember, uh, you know, we brought that Colossus in. Woo, babe, man, we just got decimated. Literally. I mean, I'm not even joking. I think that's the right term to use in that case, because, yeah, we, uh... I mean, we lost the whole thing. It's gone. It's gone, baby. All right, we got a few missiles coming in on the Harrier here. Badoosh! Little explosion back there. A little feel-good explosion. <laughs> if you're waking up in the morning and you don't have coffee, another way to wake up is just to have something explode near you. It really, really brings you back to your senses. All right, we had missiles from the BCS Soul and the... The gut storms here. Oh, I'm dead. Really? I died up in the... Interesting. We are down to 98% health. Harrier's doing a little flyby there, and our gut storm's coming right over. Oh, yeah. So, here's one thing I noticed ever since the last patch. Are you seeing this weird glitching going on in the water? Yeah, it's... it's uh, I don't like it. It's driving me crazy. It's really playing with my eyes. Look at this. It's a, it's a dance of missiles. Harrier has taken a lot of damage here. Whole left side. Left top on the Harrier there. Very much hurt. See, it's down by about 1,200 blocks. We're going to go take a look at the soul, though. How are you doing, friend? Let's go ahead and get our character back in there. As it uh, fires off missiles and everything else glorious. As it should. As it should. All right, Harrier, how are you doing? Let's zoom in. Get the Binox out. It looks like he's falling out of the sky. And it looks like he's got some engine problems as well. You can see those shields just flickering, you know, on and off. Off and on. Shields don't know what's happening. Oh, these, the glitching water is just playing with me right now. All right, these gut storms are relentless. And they've got those just beautiful cannons on there that have just been firing. Oh, nice. Little missile shot. Harrier's just eating it right now. Eating it for lunch, for breakfast, for dinner. I'll take the shrimp cocktail for one, please. All right, so what's going on with the BCS soul here? Is it ignoring salvage? It is. Okay. Okay. Everybody's ignoring salvage, and he's, well, he's salvage. Okay, first battle. We've come out ahead. The first battle is ours, my friends. We are going to have to try this fleet in another battle, I believe. Maybe, maybe a larger force? How'd we come out on that? We are fully repaired. I'm digging it so far. I'm digging it. This is just a beast of a ship, isn't it? Isn't it so huge? I love it. That's what she said. No, that one time. That one time. That never happened. Wah, wah. All right. Uh, AI is still dead. We're waiting for the Harrier to disintegrate. And then we're gonna... Yeah, this water. This water, I just... I don't know. The glitching. Something weird happened there. The glitching is for reals. Alright, let's zoom out and take... Ooh, what's, what's going on here? What in the world is this about? Uh, th these look like resource numbers. Natural, metal. O is for oil. And then scrap. And then crystal. I don't get it. What's this telling me? Does anybody know what this is telling me right now? Does it, is this telling me there was a battle here and these were these were resources lost or gained or something? <laughs> this game is is notorious for never telling you what these numbers mean. It's just like some magical thing pops up. Okay, so we want to go for a bigger force. I see a bigger force right up yonder. I'll tell you what. I tell you what. Let's migrate up here. Uh, you know what? You know what? We're gonna go down here. I don't. I don't want to leave scragglers. This is why I always end up with scragglers, because I move my forces elsewhere, and like moving up this way, and then I just don't come back to get these guys. So yeah, we're gonna go for this 101 force, and uh, we'll see how we fare. We'll catch y'all just a bit. Hmm. All right. So I I changed my mind just a little bit. We're gonna try something fun first before we bring our Souls Memorial fleet back in. What I did was I took one of our original fleets. If you all remember this, the Sky Birdie and Grip. It was just right over here. And I thought, this could be fun. Why don't we try it? Why don't we see how some of our beginning ships fare against the Dark Angels? I mean, we got the Yolkingdale, tried and true classic. Uh, we got the, 
A ship I built, the Skybird Custom. Oh, baby. We got the standard fighter and a couple of these Cremo Nauticae. Let's give this a try. It's just for funsies. You know, it's always good to have funsies in this game. Um, let's see what we're going up against. Oh, this is going to be fun, ladies and gentlemen. It is a fleet of Restitution Primes. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got ten. Oh, yes. Yes. All right, let's get these babies out. All right, Yolkingdale. Yolkingdale's going to start a little closer because he, he's more of a close-range craft. Standard Fighter is going to start over here with the Yolkingdale. Again, kind of close. Cremo Nauticae are going to come in from the sides here. Rather close together, but at different altitudes. And the, the Skybird, yeah, we're going to put back here, just coming from afar. And I think we're going to sit in the Skybird. Let's see, what are we getting? We're going to get everybody. I think everyone's going to come in on this one. Let's do this. Here we go. I'm totally stoked for this. Alright, let's make sure we're not on the weapons. Show me the show me the interface, game. We are lagging like something else. There we go. We were on the weapons. Okay. Here we go. Here's our beautiful little Yokingdale. Do, 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 do. Looks like a little tiny egg. Okay, and then we've got our standard fighter right here. Looks like he's already been hit. An excellent start to a battle. Okay, how are we? We are... Wow, these Cremo Nautikai are really hitting these uh, Restitution Primes. Here comes an attack from the Skybird. Landing some hits here. What an amazing fleet to, to go up against. Ding! We have leveled. We are like level f like 5 trillion. <laughs> okay, we got a little bit of dance action going on here. Look at this. That is a sweet looking screenshot. Oh, we nailed it on that one. All right, there is the Yolkingdale firing those cannons. Coming over here, trying to, looks like he's trying to hit this Restitution Prime. Oh yeah, we are working wonders right now. All right, another missile attack from the Skybird. Coming down on one of the remaining Restitutions. Oh, that's going to do it for him. That is, oh, oh, so these red parts. Okay, what this is saying is it has an engine, but it's the old engine. They are essentially parts that you can no longer build. But um, craft that still have them will still get to use them. And you know, and it's a great way to phase out the old system, I think. I think that was brilliant. That way we can keep running. If that wasn't the case, our campaign would have came to just a screeching halt. So I'm really, really glad that Nick, you know, the developer, uh, made that decision. You know what? Wow, we came out really well in that battle. Our Yokingdale was really hurt. And we did lose our standard fighter. But that was impressive. I was not expecting that. Uh, all right, let's get some heals going here. Why not? So cheap. I can't believe we just won that. That's kind of blowing my mind right now. That was a... Uh, that was a 101 force point fleet. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, well, let's bring... Let's bring the Souls Memorial down here to this 94 force point square. We're going to give this baby a go. We are all set up for the battle here. Let's see what we're going to be dealing with. We've got a Restitution, Restitution Prime, little baby brother or bigger brother. And we've got a Dawnbreaker, which we've seen, and a Therum, which we've seen before. And a Therum is, you know, it's definitely not a musical instrument. Like I surmised last episode, it's the Theremin that <laughs> I was thinking of. Oh, you know, you can't win them all. Yeah, it's, it's worth trying every now and then. All right, we're going to sit back in the BCS soul. We've got our Gut Storms on the left and right, sort of flanking it. And we've got the, the BCS Soul itself broadsiding. I think it'll be a good start. Let's kick this up. Here we go. Show, show me that. Battle begins, please. Here it comes. Battle begins. Great. All right, let's hop on down. Let's make sure once again that we are not on the weapon systems. Oh, it is, it's a dark. It's a dark and stormy night, and we are getting a little bit of a lag spike. All right, there we go. We are ready to rock. We're going to kind of get like a... Like a BCS soul. Oh, we must be really far because the cannons aren't even trying to fire. That looks like it could be the Dawnbreaker. And wow, look at that. The Gutstorm is just shredding that. that. I think that's a Restitution Prime. That's probably the Restitution that we're seeing right there. Yeah, the, the, okay, the BCS must just be too far. Let's make sure. Are we really not? Okay, yeah, we're good. It's just too far to use those cannons right now. Well, the gut storm. We only got to bring one gut storm in, but it is making very quick work of the Dawnbreaker and whatever it is spawning in. What is it spawning in? Another Restitution Prime. Look at this. <laughs> oh, that's not a repair bot. Hang on. That is the Dawnbreaker. A 2400 block ship. He's down. 
for the count. All right, here we go. This is a restitution, I believe. It is 671 beautiful blocks. He is about to be obliterated, I believe, by one single missile pass. Let's see. How's he going to fare? It's a, it's a barrage of the EMP missiles from the soul, and here come these thumperhead missiles. Oh, yeah, taking it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it feels good to be back and playing again. You know, it's just like you get jonesing to play this game, especially after two or three days. I was so ready to kick this game up again. All right, there we go. We got another spawn. That is the Therum, a much bigger ship. And we have definitely spawned the Soul just too far. Let's take a look here. Oh, yeah, we can't. Okay, let's fly over to the Therum. See how far it is. Because the BCS Soul, I wonder what the range on the cannons are. I should have checked that. 1,300 meters is definitely seems like it's too far. Man, none of those cannons are shooting. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, don't collide. Oh, yeah, but definitely pass each other and heal. It's like a, just like a little slap of heels, you know, as you're flying by. Whoosh, and then you're all healed up. Feels really good. All right. Big missile strikes here on the Therum. Let's take a look at the block count. I want to say it's like 5,000 blocks. Oh, 7,600. We've taken off about 500 so far. Okay, we are definitely going to be getting within cannon range. I mean, I mean, are they, they're still turned on, right? Yep, they're still turn, turned on. Let's see if these babies are going to shoot. Maybe, maybe they don't shoot air targets. I don't know what's going on here. Let's just zoom back a bit. Okay. Well, very strange. Maybe they are not uh, set up to shoot air targets. Maybe that's what's going on there. I mean, unless I'm, like, magically on another turret. Okay, no. That, that just must be what it is. All right. Well, I love the fact that it has all these missile systems in. I mean, look, the Therum is flying directly overhead. We got some of those EMP blasts hitting this guy, which definitely can't be boating well for it. Let's take a look at our health really quick here. 100% across the board. Feels pretty good. Now, will our missiles from the BCS Soul fly fast enough to hit the Therum? Ultimate questions right here, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we like to ask them. We don't ask them all the time, but when we do, we make sure they're ultimate. Here we go. Oh, ooh, way too zoomed. Those missiles are just barely flying faster. Look at that. It looks like they're just coming up, like, like sneaking up behind it, sort of walking in the shadows. <laughs> Huge explosions right on the back of the Therum there. There's no way this thing's going to be able to stay in the, in the air much longer, especially with our gut storm over here. He's coming in from the side. Oh, I love the side shielding on those. Both of these guys are firing at each other like there's no end. There's no tomorrow. Here we go. I love the lambs on the gut storms. I know I say that all the time. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Come on. Go, baby. Oh, that is... You don't want to cut it much closer than that. That is... That we Almost a short bus situation there. You know, we used to have short bussing like, like 12 times an episode. And I feel like now we see it like once a season. It's amazing how far the game has come. It really is amazing. All right, how's the Therum doing? It looks like it is still flying around just fine. We've still got the gut storms fly, uh, swarming around it there, you know, doing the circle tactic. All right, here we go. A few missiles from the BCS Soul. What are these going to do? I'm expecting some good stuff here. Some really, well, no, that wasn't... That was highly anticlimactic. They sort of like went towards the back there and then just snooped on yonder. AI is dead. There we are. There we are. So what I can surmise then is the BCS Soul, it's got the missile systems as its sort of versatile hit any target system, maybe with the exception of submarines. Oh my gosh, what has happened? Oh no. Y'all, this looks like our ammo stores might have just gotten hit. Wow. That was a 5% hit on the BCS Soul. Those repair bots are in there, though. Look how fast they're healing it up. Here you can see uh, one of them. Where is it? It's in here somewhere. Oh, there, there he is. Yeah, you can see it right there. There's one of the repair bots. I know it was really hard to see. Uh, just, just because of the, the camera wobbling everywhere. But, okay, many apologies there. We, we accidentally... <laughs> I have Team Viewer open in the background just for work-related stuff. And that decided to give itself focus. Thank you, Team Viewer. Anyways... There we go. Battle finished, ladies and gentlemen. And here we are just looking at a real beaut. Look at that. 
One more screenshot for the road. All right, ladies and gents, we will stop this episode here. This was a good one. I'm having a lot of fun with this campaign. So, you know, like I asked at the beginning of the episode, let me know what your thoughts are. Should we keep going with this campaign with the central resource system? And then we'll kick up a new campaign when we're done, where we can look at localized resources. Or, you know, do we want to nix this and start a new campaign, maybe in Terrace again, maybe in the default campaign, and uh, give local localized resources a try on top of everything else? Let me know. Uh, just do note, though, if we do have to start a new campaign and, um, you know, get that going, it, it, it will mean that we probably won't have From the Depths episodes until the end of December, it, uh, just because I have my vacation coming up and there's no way I'll be able to get a new campaign kicked up in time uh, to, to get those episodes going since uh, it'll mean wiping out the queue entirely that we have. Uh, so anyways, you know, just, just food for thought. Let me know what you guys think. And, uh, you know, regardless, we'll, we'll just we'll keep rolling along. So, ladies and gents, it's been great having you here. Look forward to seeing you in the next episode. So, until then, hope you all have a great one. Take it easy and stay classy.